and Fifi forget-me-not. And I've just finished getting dressed. Hmm. Morning, cotton socks. <laughs> I hope today isn't as busy as yesterday. I was exhausted after helping Bumble with his honey, helping Poppy at his stall, and helping Primrose and Violet in their garden. Oh, and then there was all my gardening as well. <gasps> Which reminds me, I've got lots more gardening to do today. <laughs> Fifi! Oh, hello, Primrose. Hello, Violet. Fifi, you're going to have a party. Why? It's not my birthday. You don't need to have a birthday to have a party. It's to say thank you for always helping us. Leave everything to me. Just make sure you're at Poppy's Market Stall at tea time. And you must wear your very best party dress, Fifi. Come along, Violet. <laughs> Primrose is in charge. Primrose, away from me. Hello, Fifi. How are you today? I'm excited, Bumble. Primrose is organising a party for me. It's not your birthday, is it? No, it's just a happy day. Poppy and Aunt Tulip, party food and drinks. Tick. Violet, Pip and Bumble, party games. Tick. Webby, party music. Tick. Stinger and Slugsy. Hmm. Ah, cake. Tick. And what will you be doing, Primrose? I'm the party organiser, Violet. I'm in charge of absolutely everything. Stingo, Slugsy. What did you want to see us about, Primrose? I'd like you to make the cake for Fifi's party. Make a cake? I've never made a cake in my life. <laughs> I've eaten quite a few, though. <laughs> then it's about time you started. Fifi's favourite party game is Ring a Ring of Roses. Ring a Ring of Roses, a pocket full of posies. A tissue, a, a tissue, we, we all fall down. down. <laughs> I can hear what the other flower tops are planning for my party. Maybe I should go inside. A tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> it's too soon to put my dress on now, cotton socks. It'll get creased and dirty. I can't do any gardening in case I hear what the others are planning. Oh, buttercups and daisies. What can I do to pass the time till the party starts? Hmm. <gasps> I've had a brilliant idea. I could bake something to take to the party. I'll leave you to get on with your cake making while I check my party arrangements. you make a cake, boss? Oh, you bang everything in a bowl and mix it up, then shove it in the oven. Bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> it's a piece of cake, slugsy old pal. We're going to make a lovely chocolate cake for all my friends who have been so kind to me. Aren't we, Cotton Socks? Made a cake, like you told us. Look at the mess you've made! Clear it up right away! You are not coming to the party unless you clean up this mess! Don't just stay here, <laughs> you two! Get on with the job! <laughs> oh, with a cloth, Slugsy! Not your tongue! Oh! What a waste! Oh! The cake's ready, and it's time for the party! <laughs> oh, there's something important that I was supposed to do. Do you know what it is? Buttercups and daisies! I forgot to change into my party dress. Oh, Primrose will be so disappointed. There! One cake! <laughs> time 
time to party, slugsy old pal. Yahoo! All right! <laughs> but it's burnt! You've ruined everything! We can't have a party without a cake! Hello, everybody! I've made you all a cake as a thank you for giving me this happy day party! Wow! <laughs> thank you, Fifi! That's what I call a proper cake. We did our best. <laughs> Listen to her! The party can start now! First, musical chairs. When the music stops, grab a chair and sit on it. Anything nice to eat out there, Stingo? Not a sausage, Slugsy. <gasps> Bingo, Stingo! I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. Grub? Oh, silly slug. Grub starts with a G. G for grub. 
I spy food. Yeah, so I was right then. <sighs> Let's see if there's something we can do for Aunt Tulip. Come on, Slugsy. No. Uh, if I could just get that bit there, then I could tie this bit here. <laughs> oh, Fifi, let me help you. Oh, sweet potatoes. Where is Fifi? <laughs> Got a problem, Aunt Tulip? I've got a big problem, Stingo. Fifi's not turned up to babysit Grubby, and I'm due at Poppy's for tea. Oh. We can look after Grubby, can't we, uh, Slugsy old pal? Can we? Oh, yes. I'm not sure about leaving Grubby Baby with you two. You can trust us, our Tulip. Think how disappointed Poppy will be if you let her down. Oh, just like Fifi's let you down. I suppose you're right. <laughs> oh, Slugsy and Stingo will take you for a little wickle walk. Then they'll give you a nice saucer of warm milk before bedtime. Won't you, Stingo? Absolutely, Aunt Tulip. Bye now, cutie pie. <laughs> Bye, Aunt Tulip. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stingo? Oh, Tulip called me Cutie Pie. She was talking to Grubby, not you, you slimy slug. Oh. Right, let's try Aunt Tulip's yummy scrubby cake. Slugsy old pal. But shall we take Grubby for a walk first? Don't worry. I have a plan that will make everybody happy. <laughs> Oh, oh, great plan, boss. Grubby walk while we eat. Result. <laughs> oh, I am a genius. <laughs> there you go, Aunt Tulip. Oh, thank you. <sighs> so, who's babysitting Grubby? Fifi didn't turn up, so I left him with Stingo and Slutsy. Oh, dear. Well, I hope he'll be all right. Macaroon. Rotten raspberries. Slutsy, quick up. That little crab has chewed through the rope. Oh, no. What will Aunt Tulip say when she comes home and finds out that we've lost Grubby? Hey, wait. She'll never know if we find him before she gets home. Quick, let's look for him. Grubby. <laughs> nice Grubby. Grubby. Here is Grubby. Grubby. Come to Uncle Stingo. Grubby. There we are, Fifi. The last bean's planted. Oh. There's something very important that I've forgotten to do, Violet. Uh, we put up the string. We planted the beans. <gasps> Fiddly flower petals, I remember. I promised Aunt Tulip I'd babysit Grubby. Oh, Fifi, forget me not. Oh, God. I better get over there right away. <laughs> I've come to babysit Grubby. <laughs> Aunt Tulip left us in charge. Where is he then? Gone. Oh. Gone. Gone? Oh. Gone uh, for a walk. What's that? Stingo invented it. Grubby walked round and round and round trying to catch the cake on the end of the string. Poor Grubby. I don't think you looked after him very well at all. Oh! Well, at least we turned up to help when you were late. You're right, Stingo. Come on, let's look for him. I'll look this way, you look over there. Grubby! Grubby! Grubby, where are you? Can you see Grubby? He's behind me. 
can't see him. <laughs> He's there again. I can't see him anywhere. <laughs> there you are, Grubby. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. You must be tired. Fifi found Grubby! Oh, good. I'm fed up with running around in circles looking for him. Well, now you know how poor Grubby felt when he was running around in circles chasing after that cake. Oh, sorry, Grubby. We shouldn't have done that to you. Come on, Grubby. Settle down in your blanket. <laughs> Go to sleep, my baby. Close your pretty eyes Mama's here beside you Listening for baby's cries Oh, Fifi, you did turn up after all Oh, Aunt Tulip, I'm so sorry I was late I was planting my beans and... Uh... <laughs> there, there Tell me all about it tomorrow, Fifi. Go to sleep, my babies. Close your pretty eyes. Mama's here beside you, listening for baby's cries. The great big moon is shining. Stars begin to peep. Time for pretty babies to go to sleep. Hush. Hush. Don't forget to come and play another day. Night, night. Hello, I'm Fifi Forget-Me-Not. Welcome to my garden. I'm on my way to Bumble's house to deliver an urgent letter from Aunt Tulip. Would you like to come too? Come on then. Must do things properly. There we go. <laughs> Yo, Bumble. Oh, hello, Fifi. I brought you a letter from Aunt Tulip. For me, oh goody. So, uh, where is it then, Fifi? Where's what? The letter. Oh, yes, <laughs> the letter. Now, I'm sure I put it somewhere safe. Mm. Has Fifi forget me not forgotten where she put it? Oh, fiddly flower petals. Can you see where I put the letter? Is this what you're looking for, Fifi? <laughs> I told you I put it somewhere safe, Bumble. <laughs> Oh, wiggly worms! What does it say? Dear Bumble, please come to my house for tea today from Aunt Tulip. Oh, how lovely! Oh no! What's the matter, Bumble? Uh, but she's so uh, grown up. You'll have a wonderful time. I'll go and tell her that you'd love to go. <gasps> Fifi, wait! Oh, wiggly worms. I've never been to a proper grown-up tea before. Mm. <laughs> Looks like Bumble needs a bit of cheering up. My tummy needs cheering up as well. I'm starving. <laughs> well, fear not. I bet if we help Bumble out, he'll give us some of his lovely honey. What do you think, Slugsy? <gasps> Slugsy? <laughs> <laughs> Slugsy must be hungry. I've never seen him move so fast. <laughs> oh. oh, something the matter, Bumble, old friend. Oh, Tulip's invited me to tea. 
I've never been to a proper grown-up tea before. I don't know how to do it. Good job we were passing. <laughs> you see, I know all about grown-up tea. When have you been to tea? Oh, you do? Oh, yes. I could teach you if you'd like. But um, this kind of expert help doesn't come cheap, you know. I could give you a jar of my honey. Hmm. How about five jars? But you've only got five jars. Great. It's a deal, then. Tulip. Hello, Fifi. So what did Bumble say? He said he'd love to come to tea. Oh, wonderful news. Do you know what I love about Bumble? He never tries to be anything but himself. Oh, and he always makes me laugh. Can we start now, Stingo? I start what? My tea lessons. Oh, right. <coughs> uh, yes. Uh, right. The secret to being a good tea guest is this. A bib. Correct. A bib will keep you clean and tidy. That way, you can eat as much as you like without getting food down your front. <laughs> <laughs> See, now Slugsy should have worn a bib. Right. Anything else? <coughs> Always use plenty of manners. And that's about it. Nothing to it. Off you go then, Bumble. Have a lovely time. Thanks. Do you think the people work? Of course it won't. <laughs> I made it all up. Come on, let's follow him. This should be fun. <laughs> Going. Oh, bouncing buttercups. Uh, um, Bumble, why are you wearing a bib? Stigo and Slugsy gave it to me. They were teaching me how to have a grown-up tea. Oh, Bumble, if you want to learn how to have tea, look no further. Follow me. <gasps> oh. Oh. Remember, head up, shoulders back. <laughs> Standing upright is very important when going to tea. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try the tea. Little finger. Little finger? Little finger! <gasps> oh, what? <gasps> oh, you slurped. I like slurping. Well, you should never, ever slurp whilst you're having proper grown-up tea. Again. Lucky Bumble. I wish we were in Primrose's house having tea. Oh, yes. The only way we can do that is if she gives us lessons too. Huh? Slugsy. You might be a slug, but you're no mug. What? You mean? I certainly do. Let's ask Primrose to teach us. It's not like Bumble to be late, Aunt Tulip. I'm going to see if he's all right. Good idea, Fifi. Oh, thank you, Aunt Tulip. A pleasure, Aunt Tulip. Sugar, Aunt Tulip. <laughs> Aunt Tulip. Oh, there you are, Bumble. <laughs> You're late for tea. Um, why have you got that book on your head? Oh, Fifi, I'm trying to be grown up. But I can't do it. Why are you trying to be grown up, Bumble? So I can have grown up tea without Tulip. But I'm no good. I'm just Bumble. Aunt Tulip invited you to tea because she wants to see you. Just Bumble. <gasps> what? No bowing, heads up, shoulders back, little finger. Especially not that. <laughs> just be yourself. Oh. <gasps> But there is one thing that really goes down well when you visit someone for tea. What's that? Flowers. And Tulip loves flowers. Bumble, yeah. you're here. Hello. <coughs> no. <coughs> Sorry, Aunt Tulip. These are for you. <laughs> oh, Bumble, you always put a smile on my face. Here you are. Ooh, 
thank you, uh, Julep. <laughs> Not like that. Like this. <laughs> well, it looks like Bumble worried over nothing. <laughs> when you're with good friends, whether they're grown up or small, they always want you to be yourself. Heads up, shoulders back, and no sniffing, Slugsy. Me. So, when do we get the tea and cakes, Primrose? Yes, I'm starving. When you get it right. Oh, rotten raspberries. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to come back soon. 